Well, welcome to day two of my trip. My layover day here on Red Rock Lake. It's going to be a rainy day. We got some pretty heavy rains overnight. Showers. Almost a continuous uh, drizzle. So things are pretty dang wet out here. Thankfully it's not raining all that hard right now. But, uh, oh. yeah, things are really wet. Of course, that's what the forecast said it was going to do. So, no, no big surprises. Um, gonna have apples and cinnamon oatmeal this morning. Gonna be probably spending most of the day in camp, depending on what happens with this uh, with the weather. Might go out and do a little bit of paddling in the rain. Don't know. At least uh, overnight the winds were calm. Getting a few minor gusts now, but nothing, nothing big. So not much to say. Just enjoying life out here despite the rain, despite the dampness. Last report I heard on the radio, it's supposed to uh, clear up tomorrow. So I can deal, I can handle one day of rain. Oh well. Mosquitoes have been bad. So one good thing about that breeze that comes through every once in a while, or cases of mosquitoes play. It's been too cool and wet up here this year. Mosquitoes have been thriving. So despite it being the end of August, they're still still out and bugging me. Good thing was I didn't see a lot of flies yesterday. Uh, usually about this time of year you get the door the tent the door flies. The deer flies and the horse flies. Which become door flies. <laughs> I suppose door flies. Uh, so hasn't been a lot of them. No ankle biters yesterday. Yeah, coming across, even on the portages, pretty comfortable yesterday, bug wise. You can just get rid of these mosquitoes in the evenings and the mornings. That would be good. I did sleep in this morning. It's now about 20 after 8. It's about 7 o'clock that I started stirring. No big, no big need to uh, get up and at them this morning. So, just laid in bed for a while. Had a lay in.
On a day like today, it's tough to uh, tough to st uh, maintain a positive attitude. Anytime I'm on a trip, when it's like this, at least when I'm with other people, I get to tell stories. I get to tell jokes or listen to jokes. Uh, you know, there's somebody to talk to. Keep your mind off of what's going on. That type of thing. A lot tougher when you're on your own. Uh, even tougher without Sam. With Sam, he would at least be on my lap pedaling and we'd be snuggling and uh, probably snoozing off together uh, and keeping, our, keeping each other company. He'd be somebody to talk to as well. Uh, now, I didn't want to turn this video into a Sam pity. Poor Nibby has got to travel without Sam uh, type of video. I'm going to try to talk about Sam as infrequently as I can on this trip. Um, but his presence definitely is uh, is missing. I'm definitely missing him. So, enough about that. So anyway, trying to keep a positive attitude by thinking about what's going on. What I'm going to be doing for the rest of the trip when the weather is better. And, uh, you know, at least this is only a one day event. Not like uh, three years ago when I got pinned down for three days when that front came through. Um, so, and talking to you helps a little bit. At least I've got somebody to talk to, even if you won't talk back to me right away. Uh, so thanks for providing that service. When I first started doing solo trips, I'd always make sure I had a book along. And there'd be times that I would read it. But I found more and more as time went on, I was reading less and less. And it got to the point where it was just added, added weight. Now, the funny thing is, the last trip I was on, my July trip, I decided to take the book again. Take a book again. And uh, it was more because of the book than because I thought I really need it. I took the uh, A Walk in the Woods. So I've read that book through now twice. I watched the video twice as well, but I keep, keep going back to it, both the book and the video. They, they, they do diverge quite a bit, the, the two, but both are entertaining. And, uh, well, so anyway, I took that book along on my last trip, never got it out of my pack. So, came across it while I was, uh, low, uh, packing for this trip. And uh, decided not to bring it. I sure could use that book today. <laughs> I sure could use it. It gave me something to do. Give me something to laugh at. Um, you know, I wish I'd brought any book, but uh, a book. But anyway, um, have to do what I can with what I have. And again, uh, try to try to maintain that uh, positive attitude in whatever way I can. Rain has let off a little bit for the moment, um, but uh, yeah, kind of a dreary day. Actually, I'm seeing some structure in the clouds and that, so <sighs> not off. It could be a lot worse. <laughs> Let me tell you. Could be a lot worse. So, thanks for listening. Anyway, I know it's after the fact, but at least uh, I can talk to you right now. And, uh, yeah. And I'm sure I'll talk to you again in the not too distant future.
just had my lunch. I was thinking after lunch I was going to go into my tent and have, take a nap. But uh, it started raining harder than ever, so I'm waiting for a break in the rain so I can take a mad dash to my tent. I don't really want to go into my tent when it's like this. I am starting to feel kind of chilly, which is part of the reason I want to go to my tent. Is, uh, you know, it's damp, it's windy, and uh, I don't know what the temperature is. <laughs> you probably, I don't know if you can hear me over this rain on the tarp. It's really coming down buckets right now. I'm hoping to get a break pretty soon. Well, the rain didn't really give me a, a break for it. or uh, Didn't give me a break, but I made a run for it anyway. Right here is probably a horrible mess. Uh, anyway, um, just because there's so much rain, I do have some water underneath the tent, so my, but my innie seems to be keeping things nice and dry, relatively dry. There's just no more, so much rain, so much water that no matter where you pitched your tent, you would have water running underneath it in this, these conditions. So. Yeah, Cliff Jacobson's idea of putting your ground cloth inside the tent is definitely a good one. I've been going with it for many, many years. Uh, and, uh, yeah, it's uh, definitely the way to go. So I'm going to just kind of chillax here for a while. It's uh, one o'clock. Uh, I'll be warmer in here than out under the tarp. I've got my sleeping bag on top of me. I put dry socks on. Uh, yeah, and it's warmer in the tent anyway than, than out there. So, stay here for a while, then eventually, oops, eventually I'll probably, well, eventually I'll get up for, and have some supper. Probably won't stay out there very long at that time. It's long enough to, to cook, eat, clean up, and then probably back to the tent again. So, I don't think today's video is going to be much of one, but, you know, it is what it is. Gotta, gotta take uh, what nature gives us and do what we can with it. Well, here I am again. <laughs> it's about, what, five after, no, about quarter after five in the afternoon, evening, whatever you want to call it. Uh, not raining quite so hard at the moment as it was, but uh, still raining. Uh, varies between, yeah, yeah, it's light, light rain. Light rain. I was going to say it varies between drizzle and light rain, but it's light rain. <laughs> uh, as usual, though tarp is making it sound a lot worse than what it actually is. Anyway, I'm going to have some supper. And, uh, I don't know. I don't really want to go back into the tent too early. I haven't spent most of the afternoon there. And, uh, but I don't want to stay up too late either because, of course, the later I stay up, the more the mosquitoes are going to swarm. And uh, also, the colder it's going to get. 
Oh, well, anyway, had a had a good nap, and uh, yeah, um, nice and dry, warm in the tent versus out here. So was able to warm up, get some sleep, and uh, stay dry for a while. So anyway. We'll see if I get the supper going, and then, uh, and supper tonight is Mountain House Chicken and Dumplings. It's a large pack, it's not a, uh, pro pack, but it's a two serving, which is what the pro packs are, so, uh, should be able to handle this okay, even despite my lack of, a activity today, and it just seems... Chicken and dumplings just seems like, well, I'll say this seems like a chicken and dumpling. You hear that? <laughs> just light drizzle on the rain fly now. And a few drips from the trees. A lot quieter than it was. <laughs> ah, nice. It's nice. Well, I'm waiting for my food to cook. Uh, should be done pretty quick here. Six o'clock. Yep, it is pretty much done. So, I'm going to eat. I've already snacked a little bit on trail mix and uh, jerky. But, uh, yeah, just about to have my main course. Those were just appetizers. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I don't know if it's going to stay this way. The forecast is for a 50% chance of rain tonight, but maybe it'll clear out early. I suppose there'll be a few lingering showers coming through, but I think the worst of it, hopefully, is done. Okay, here I am again. <laughs> Boy, it's been so long since I left you, right? Uh, actually, it has been. It's now, uh, what, quarter to seven, so been about an hour. That What lasted you a couple of seconds lasted me about uh, almost an hour. Anyway, as predicted, the chicken and dumplings hit the spot just right. Perfect meal for today, for a day like today. Um, yeah, just uh, you know, one of those uh, homey type meals. Uh, yeah, what do I want? Comfort meals. <laughs> there you go, comfort meals. Anyway, um, and uh, I had no problems eating the whole thing, as I predicted. I well, I. I didn't think I'd have a problem. Uh, hardly even any sprinkles going on now. Just a few drips from the sky, or from the uh, leaves. All the puddles are disappearing, including the ones around my tent, which is great. So uh, everything's having a chance to soak into the ground now. Or... Uh, run off as much as it's going to run off whatever but uh doing pretty good so i ate i cleaned up i probably won't be going back to bed quite as early as i thought i was going to because it's uh fairly pleasant out here now occasional gust of wind not too bad uh, got rid of the rain i'll probably pump some water filter some water in a little while here and uh, as I said before though I don't want to stay out too long because well the mosquitoes have not really subsided today at all or very much and I'm sure right around sunset they're really going to get horrendous so I want to try to make it so I'm not having to kill so many in the tent when I get there 
but we'll see what happens but uh, yeah feeling pretty good I having weathered a uh, day of rain rain of deluges and uh, tomorrow's sounding like a better day they're talking sunshine tomorrow highs in the low 70s uh, 5 to 10 mile an hour winds from the northwest so that will only get to be a concern when I round American Point but if it's only 5 to 10 miles an hour that shouldn't be a problem uh, my plan is to get to Otter Track tomorrow three portages to get there uh, without looking at the map there's, there's a 10 rod portage I know coming out of, of uh, Red Rock Lake into Saganaga uh, as I recall from when I came through here, what was it, nine years ago, whatever it was, 2009, I guess eight years ago. Uh, I know the landing at the other end is pretty bad. I think the landing at this end is pretty bad too. And I don't think, uh, well, let's put it this way. Ten rod portages are usually pretty rocky the whole way ankle breakers I hope I'm wrong on this one but I got a feeling that's what it's going to be like I know I do remember from eight years ago which is amazing that I can remember that that uh, the portage landings here were atrocious I had one heck of a job uh, trouble of a job uh, getting unloaded and unloaded or loaded, unloaded and loaded whichever way you want to look at it but uh, anyway, that'll be first thing in the morning. Then I have a long, 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 long paddle up around American Point. Uh, so I head north to start with, and then I head west from uh, American Point. And then I've got like a 20 rod portage from there into, I think it's called Marsh Lake, something like that. Swamp Lake, Swamp Lake, that's right, the beautiful name of Swamp Lake. And then I head across the Monument Portage into Otter Track. Again, I'll show you this all on the map in the morning. I'm not going to bother pulling out the maps right at the moment, sorry. But uh, with it being damp and windy and all the rest of that, I just don't want to deal with that. So I'll show, show it to you. And uh, when it, actually uh, on my next video, when it'll be fresher in your mind, when I actually do the trip, <laughs> considering it'll be, probably be at least a week between you hearing this and me actually, or and you actually seeing the video. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, <laughs> it'll be a mere evening, night for me, but. Uh, at least a week for you. Strange how that works out. Anyway, um, yeah. Um, made it through today. It was a long day. Uh, sleeping through the afternoon helped helped it go by a lot faster. I really, for a change, wish I'd brought that extra weight of a book. But, hey, I survived without it. Um, like I said, it is extra weight, and uh, that all adds up when you're going over the portages and everything, so I'm pretty much rambling now, so I think it's time for me to sign off, and uh, we'll talk to you later, which for you will probably be just a couple of seconds from now.
Well, it's after 8 o'clock now. The drizzle is continuing off and on, off and on. The wind is kind of picking up a little bit. Mosquitoes aren't too bad at the moment, so I think I better head for the tent before they get bad. Of course, underneath the rainfly, they're going to be bad anyway, but uh, before they start really swarming, get in the tent. Doesn't look like it's going to, like the clouds are going to break enough for a decent sunset tonight. Tried taking a couple of pictures and uh, wind blew, drizzled all over in under my lens, onto my, the front of my lens. Which kind of screwed up the pictures a little bit, but uh, nothing real major. I was able to wipe them out pretty, pretty well, but don't want spotty pictures. So anyway, <sighs> moon's calling a little bit earlier. It was a nice addition. Don't manage. I don't often hear them calling like that, and having them call close enough to capture on the camera and having it happen continue for so long was kind of was different. So I hear loons up here a lot more frequently than what shows up on the camera, but a lot of times it's just just a long enough. Uh, yodel or whatever to get me to get the camera out and turn it on and by the time that's all done they've they've stopped calling which is why you don't hear a lot of loon song on my videos believe me when I get it I share it I just don't get it all that often so. Ooh, we got some color in the clouds up here that up. A little hint of what uh, we could get if it would just clear up off a little bit more. Maybe, just maybe I'll stay up a little bit longer. <laughs> uh, probably be about the only hint of color I'll get, I suspect. Oh, oh well. I'm sure I'll get plenty of more chances of sunsets throughout this trip. Oh, that was nice seeing that one little patch though. Well, I managed to get in tonight without uh, very many skeets coming in with me at all, so it's uh, that's kind of nice. There might be one or two floating around in here, but nothing like the hordes I had last night. So that's nice. Anyway, uh, I don't know. It's 8:30ish, probably. Let's see what my watch says. 8:34 is what my watch says. So anyway, I am in my tent. Going to get some things sorted out here. And then get bedded down. And uh, so it hasn't been a very interesting day. But, uh, you know, these days happen. And uh, it's part of the experience. So... I know this video isn't quite as interesting as maybe some of the others that I've done, but uh, hey, I show the warts as well as the fair skin, and today was a wart. <laughs> yeah, any day I can be out here is better than being in a city. That's all I can say. I'm. Um, and uh, so glad I can come out and do this instead of sitting in an office somewhere. 
working for somebody else. So, yeah, I'll take it. I'll even take the bad times. Or the not so good times, I guess I should say. Not really bad times, but just not so good. So, with that, I'll say good night. Uh, thank you for watching. And I'm sure the next video, well, the forecast for tomorrow is a lot better, so I'm sure the video is going to be a lot better as well. So, see you whenever I get that next one posted. Good night. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you.